How y'all doing with yourselves, Cosmos? Everything from now to the title, the how the how the wrestlers look that we're going to be talking about today, the very few. Yeah, just everything you're you're going into the video and everything looking at from down to the thumbnail, to the title, everything. There's a reason why it looks like that. And of course, as I always watch this, I was watching SmackDown last night, and you know, of course, I seen uh, the injury. That's you know, the injury that's probably you know taking up a little bit of storm. Uh, the uh, I hope it was not. As it turned out, yeah, they're good. Uh, it turns out that it wasn't that bad. I'm talking about the injury between. Uh, sorry if I sound a little stuffy. My bad. But uh, I'm talking about the injury, uh, possible uh, injury between uh, Carmelo and Austin Theory. But yeah, they're they're doing all, yeah, of course they're all right. They even tweeted about it. WWE kind of made a nod to it as well. And yeah, they're great. They're yeah, doing alright too, but still a pretty, uh, a really, uh, yeah, just a kind of, uh, scary move too that let it, that could have been, uh, much more worse. So, and also got when it was like during that night too, NXT was having a house show, and Cora Jade also too. She had also, uh, apparently, she's okay, too, but she, that night, last night, too, she, yeah, she had sustained an, an injury, but she's doing all right, too, and, uh, who, I've, and this is like, like, of course, we're just coming, we're, co we're coming from that big, of course, like, Charlotte, who's gonna be out for the next, almost to a year, do you understand that? Almost to a year because she decides to go to that turnbuckle and, and to do a, meet, a meaningless moonsault that looks ugly to begin with. Well, like I said, we're coming from that already. Charlotte being out. And you already know so many wrestlers being out and AEW out. But also just uh, probably like not damn near a week removed from what happened to Giovanni and I think Kofi too they kind of had of like like in a, <laughs> yeah they kind of had a bit of a, a a danger of an injury right there themselves and it's like like <laughs> makes me fucking wonder what's going on and it's like oh, you know I say it time and time again it's not like <laughs> you know, you already heard so already but it's not like be I say it time and time again that hell these they, they need these wrestlers they need to relax, bro. It's like it's, you see how coincidental these injuries are so close to each other, for far apart, so far apart from each other. This is why I say that we need like they need to they they need they need to they need to, they need to get fuck the close close knit with this too. That shit that happened at, at, at like NXT too with Triple H being that that hardcore fucking stop nose to indict that shit that it, it's it's unsafe and it's incredibly incredibly retarded. That shit's not gonna fly for so long. As I say, like these wrestlers, they need to relax. Why? <laughs> it's like it's just a, another thing that really comes to my mind is like why are you going out there it's like the whole big thing that happened too like it just brings me back to the situation that happened <laughs> which also you know it brings me back to the situation what happened was uh, a couple of years ago i think yeah, a couple of few years ago with big e and ridge holland and what happened to big e's neck which ultimately possibly at you know <laughs> is looking at the end of his career it led to that. And it's like I continue to ask myself, and I look at shit like this, like why you it's like they need, like you need to stop. Why are these, the, you know, these wrestlers? You, you continue to go out there, and more so, just damn near. It's already bad enough, but you 
triple that, putting your life on the line. <laughs> for what? To do so, a move that's going to be fucking forgotten about a- after last night? That nobody's going to give a shit about. Like I said, even being the hardcore, the hardcore fan base, as much as they like to tout that. And uh, this is the this is the age of fucking moot. Like no one no one is gonna care. No one is even gonna have a lick to even want to remember that the next fucking day. And you know you have you, and you have just whether it's a minor and you just go out there whether it has to be a fucking you got a concussion or you. You know, yeah, you break your, you, know, you have a fucking some kind of a, you know, vertebrae or, you know, damn the injury. And you, you just went out there and you so, yeah, for what? You just went out there and did shit all for nothing. <sighs> I watched SmackDown last night and I'm not going to lie. Just like really lately. I know how I talk about too and it still is. I mean, wrestling is still as it is, as Especially, especially from the AEW side of things. But I was like lately, even Raw, to some certain degree, because he got punked back or some things, and they got enough, they got enough worthy talent. WWE in a long time, I'm saying that in a really long time, they have some extremely more so. They have some worthy talent to really build off of. Especially in the NXT side of things. They have some talent that they can really work around and build for the next future. It's like I'm watching, and yeah, WWE, just like I'm watching SmackDown last night. And just like WWE lately, I'm not going to lie. Like I said, not a big, just like I said, whether it's Triple H or if it's Big Man, we already know, especially... Yeah, it's like I'm not a big, I'm not a big. Like I said I don't cheerlead. I'm not a big, very much. I don't really care much. I mean, he has gotten better, of course, because you know he can't pull the indie shit on the main roster. But uh, you know, like it ha- it has been somewhat to a degree that okay, like I, I, I semi at least I feel like when I watch it, I'm not waste. I you know I don't really feel like I'm wasting all my time. Yeah, WWE has been it's been decent pretty lately, and like I said, the, the amount of the especially for the top talent too, but probably, you know the amount of time too. How many segments when I was watching SmackDown last night? The amount of segments and the amount of time too that was shown to pretty much each division too, and it was built all in the, what was showcased all throughout the show. What like. <laughs> That and that's what what was leading in to the main event between Randy Orton, L.A. Knight, A.J. Styles, and the Bloodline. And it's like I like that, and that's what we've been missing in wrestling for a very long time. Especially when, you know when you look at when you look at the, today's culture, and you had this and A.W. continues to ruin this. <laughs> You know, that mindset with Tony Khan and that in today's, when it comes to the mindset of, you know, in wrestling today. And, you know, you're not going to get the most out of it, which is why they continue to deteriorate. Or, you know, people look at wrestling now as much more, as much more of a joke. But you still, like I said, you still have some good things, at least when it comes to WWE. I said, I like what I looked at. Just like lately, and just like last night, that's what we need to focus more on. Uh, what just happened? Like, what's been going on with WWE lately? Building it to the Royal Rumble. Just like last night, and just what's been going on lately. That's what we need to work on. That's what I hope to definitely really work to. And I could really, if I could really have a 360, maybe he could change more so because he's kind yeah, of. I, I mean, yeah, it start like I said, it's not. It's still where it's at, but yeah, maybe he will start to get my bod rolling when it comes to Triple H. But that's what that's what I said. That that's what the especially for someone like a fucking AEW. But it's no, it's not. You know, Sonny Khan is not going to take that. But that's what we need to focus more on because this shit that's going on the way how wrestlers you just uh, more so put your body 
on the line to just unnecessary. You don't need to go out there every single night. Every single night to do some move. Because <laughs> it's, it's be so much, especially too, like I said, be, because it's so much done nowadays when it comes from a WWE side. I mean, when it comes from an AEW side of things, because that's that's all the fuck they have. We need to f- focus focus more on the storytelling. Last, what happened last night too? Because I really enjoy SmackDown. What happened last night and what's been going on with WWE lately? That's what needs that's what needs to happen. We need more storytelling and we need more of the entertainment back. Based entertainment back within wrestling, and that's what needs to be focused on. All that going out of your way and with the wrestling shit, that's got to stop. <sighs> Racking up all these injuries because ra- that that that's it's getting pretty fucking it's getting bad. This is bad. And it's like I look at like oh, <sighs> it's ridiculous. You don't we don't need to be doing that much. They don't need to be doing that much. So yeah, I mean people are gonna, of course, especially when it comes to just anything about, of course, you can't criticize. They're gonna look at this to take me, take what I'm saying as, of course, I'm just gonna be labeled as another hater that hates that, hates AEW because I sec- I secretly love WWE, or some <laughs> retarded dumbass shit they make up in their minds, but I said I'm being realistic here. <sighs> what's been going on that's what we I said that's what needs to be focused on all this indie shit like I like I've said numerous times needs to stop we need to dial back at least put a dial back on it it needs to be simmered <sighs> balanced half and half but that's all I got for y'all I uh, you know I'm gonna catch y'all when it comes to the next time. Stay blessed and continue to enjoy your Saturday.